mongrel intruder. That tarnish, it seemed. Mother, wouldst thou truly lordship sanction in one so bereft of life? Yet, my purpose standeth unchanged. Those stripped of the grace of gold shall all meet death. DLC, what, what were you guys expectations, you know, going into it, you know, beforehand, because uh, I know we've been waiting on this for like two two or so years, you know, ever two since fucking the years. game came it out. Was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was a long two years of waiting. Actually, when we made our first video to, uh, to do a contribute to like the expectations on like what we think was going to be a DLC at the time, right. it almost felt like a, a fairy tale. Like we didn't know if it was going to be like a, like a true thing that from software was doing at the time and then we actually got that first reveal like what was it i forgot where they revealed months it. ago i think it was the game awards it felt like or something like that yeah i think yeah. it was the game awards and i remember when that first reaction we was like damn bro that shit is gonna be crazy like it's gonna be a lot to really absorb and um i i think my first experience was pretty uh funny because i think um we was all in the same kind of wavelength when we were trying to figure out how to fuck to actually get into the damn dlc remember that night because they didn't give they, they didn't really give us like some sort of insight or any type of information on actually how to start the fucking dlc huh dumbass you know yeah. what i mean the most we knew about is uh they said to go up to the egg you know that's what everybody was saying beforehand I, I, I don't know if it look look and this is another thing i hope Mir can can vouch for this too as well i hope that if I, I it wasn't just us two that was that when we came back to elden ring most of our progression had not saved and we yeah. had to redo the same bosses basically half the majority of the game again luckily you know we had the the right weapons and the, you know we were high enough levels to actually get through the the, the regular bosses again yeah uh, i i mean i really want to know anybody's opinion that actually went through that same situation because i would like to hear their feedback and say yeah i thought that was bullshit i thought that was on like i wanted to start like a community or like some type of conversation where other people was actually like you know saying the same thing you know right. what i mean if anybody knows in the comment section, let us know if you, you had the same problems with uh, Nick and Mir had because somehow they they had the they already be, finished the game, but somehow you know they had to restart finding Monk all over again. You know, which was yeah that that was that was hard for me. But coming into the DLC was you know it really did felt like a new refresher. Um, for Elden Ring, you know, for even if for people that hasn't played the game two years ago, because I mean, for most people that kind of went from point A to point B to finish the game, um, it was more like, all right, we kind of did everything in there. Uh, you know, this is kind of like my my stop right here. So to come back to it, it felt like it just felt like another kind of long quest. You know what I mean? Like. There was definitely a lot to absorb, like different areas that I didn't know. Like, yeah, it, it almost felt like a new whole game in general. Like, I think a lot of people yeah. are saying that right now, right? Like, they're like, "Whoa, this was is basically like a base, like a whole new chapter for Elden Ring." You know what I mean? And um, yeah, all that the, the atmosphere yeah. looks fucking phenomenal. Like when we walked in there the first time, I wish we should have streamed it that night that we actually uh, recorded it. I mean, um streamed it that night then we first started the dlc so that way that people could have got that first insight on us um it was just kind of hard because it like for me like i wasn't trying to like stream as much my mind was focused in on the game like i wanted to 
really start learning like basically all the the new tactics well there's not too much tactics i mean the ashes of wars and stuff like that and um it's just it you you're just trying to get re reamped pretty much back into um you know elden ring which i think what was good is that we were able to take like two weeks prior we we were able to take two weeks prior to get our you know to get our feet back in the waters hmm. but it was a lot to take in man that first fucking you know boss interaction with nala i was like whoa like you know it, it we all knew we all had this kind of like expectation where we felt like we knew that it was going to be hard just mm -hmm. didn't know when the knob was going to start you know start slowly getting it's like fading up <laughs> you know what i mean just just didn't know it was going to start like that so soon you know what i mean uh, it was definitely a lot more challenging i i really love the like everything about it man like i i gotta say like i'm we're gonna dive do deep dives into everything that we're gonna talk mm -hmm. about but my experience just coming into it it was it was it felt fresh it felt like you know um i definitely just coming in there and i knew for a fact like when you don't have your maps like you know they make you get all your maps to to show the entire map is like it already felt like i already spent my money you know <laughs> because there's so much content within this dlc it's not just like oh, okay it's just not like you know a small little level that you would get like in another game or I mean, for DLCs nowadays, they, they are kind of held to like this type of standard where it's like another chapter to the story, but it just doesn't, it, with this, it felt like it wasn't just one chapter. It was like eight chapters within a bundle, you know what I mean? So, yeah. right. So it, it just felt like it was, it was cool, man. Just coming into it. That's just my um, opinion. Yeah. How about you, man? Going into it with your expectations and your experience. Yeah, nah, this shit was crazy. It was phenomenal, man. <laughs> yeah, like the the whole mod shit, it was cool. Like, I mean, the, like going back to before, like our games got fucked up somehow. So like, right, half half of the half of like the story bosses we had to refight and shit for some reason. So we had to go back and fight Mog, and I feel like that. Um, I mean, I, I you can't really you can't really judge it too much because it is a soul based game. Because I was gonna mm -hmm. say like. The fact that you kind of have to beat Mog to start the DLC is a little unfair. Because, like, what if people just, like... You know what I mean? Like, what if people just want to jump right into it? But it's like... Right! Hey, I do... You gotta you gotta fight this boss and shit before you can start it. Right. It's kind of like... Eh. Yeah. Um, and then, like, you know, what I think of all the Souls games, you know, El Elden Ring, like, is the most, like, user, beginner, like, casual-friendly... So it's like for for casuals who aren't really real hardcore Souls fans, mm -hmm. it's like it, it's kind of like they like well even though you just bought this shit you got to go through hell to actually access it. So it's yeah, like, I don't I don't agree I don't agree with that like, um I don't agree with that because um all the rest of the other it, it's one thing if it was just like oh you have to get to like like imagine that they was like you got to get to knock around city and you got to get to a certain point in knock around city or something like that all right that's cool like yeah. but it's like they you want to beat mog too it's like fuck they hammer right, dawn cool. too on top of that they went yeah but this was different yeah. this was different because all the rest of their other soul games which was dark souls 3 like you had to get to the end of the game and but not not too far not mm -hmm. too far, like at the very end, because you had to go to like a specific point, and then you hit like um, forgot what it was, like a tombstone or something like that, and it starts the DLC to go to Ring the the Ring City, yeah. um, which was which was the Dark Souls uh, Dark Souls Three um, expansion or you know DLC, and in Bloodborne mm -hmm. you go to a certain part of the cemetery, and I think it's like the midway of the game too, and it's right. like you get you you hop on in hand, and it takes you to the next it takes you to the dlc so this is the first time a boss though right? no that's why i'm that's why i thought it was like okay this might be yeah. a little difficult for some people that wanted to really that are that were excited to buy this dlc and maybe did buy it but they didn't realize that man i have to restart that boss right yeah. you know what i mean like I feel like it's like a way of them preparating you for the DLC in a way. Like, you about to get into some shit. So if you can't get through Mong, you can't get through this DLC. Maybe that's what right. their, their thoughts were. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. But no, nah, I mean, like, other than that, like, I feel like, though, everything, like, 
the whole first of all the world is damn near another game like yeah it's like the world is low-key the the whole fucking map of the first one like it's 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 really good it's a real good dlc um i thought the music was great the boss fight like the music to the boss fights was fire you know some of the new enemy types they were cool you know the locations were real beautiful especially like what's the uh you know the one area you get to when you're like i I don't know but it's like it's like real tree oriented you know like the big ass bridge that you gotta cross and that fire that tall ass fire dude remember we went over there and we had you were like we gotta run across this bridge real quick before he uh burned you and shit it's like yeah yeah, bro I don't I forget what it's called, but it's like right before you reach the uh the what is it, the um the foresty area? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The foresty <laughs> area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that shit's real pretty. You know. Oh my god, the fucking yeah. the castle, bro, like the mesmer enemies and shit. Like, yeah. All that shit was phenomenal, like well the design. Like, like when you look past the, the the frustration out of everything, like when you you're gonna die a lot. This is just how it is in yeah, software they, games, listen, right? Bro, these enemies, <laughs> these fucking enemies in this DLC, bro. They, yeah. they especially should, like, especially the uh, what was yeah. it? The uh, the frenzy monster, the one you yeah. gotta play. Mm-hmm. <laughs> bro, the fucking catacomb enemies are like ten times stronger and shit in this one. Probably yeah. skeletons and shit. They, that's like yeah. their traditions of having catacombs and going through hell just to get this one item at the end. Shit is fucked. I, lo- yeah, I, I, love thought, I thought it was a it was a good expansion though. Like the areas and everything were nice. Uh, it, was, right. it was real nice. Going into the game, I like a lot of the the new character designs and everything. The bosses, it looks they were like really unique too. It's like I like the idea that they um going into the game, they. They added not only like new talismans and new, um, you know, ashes of war, because they added, I was playing around with like this uh, new combat system that they added with like, it's like you get the fight. I forget the guy's yeah. name. Uh, Nick, you showed me You're the guy. Dry, dry, dry leaf. Yeah, the dry leaf. Uh, yeah. style. It's, it's pretty cool. It's, it's unique. And you get that like, do like kicks and shit in the air as they showed in the trailer. So. Yeah, like going into this, I got, when I first played it, I got stuck a little bit at the, the Twin Blade um, Moon Ranala. I believe she's, yeah. she, she's related to um, Malena, I believe, right? She's like her sister or something, right? The the knight, Balan Ranala. She's, uh, I think her, the other twin knight was like Reina or something like that. Yeah, okay. Remember, remember, I think, what was the, uh, the purple moon girl? What's her name? Renea, something like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, her. But yeah. There's, there's a knight that you have to fight before you get to her. I think she's like her sister or some shit like that. Oh, got you. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense then. Yeah, because as we were saying earlier, like you get to get her blade afterwards. But I'm I'm Fire. glad. I'm, <laughs> I'm glad. I seen online too. A lot of people got stuck on her too. So I was like, okay, I'm not the only one. I'm like, what the fuck? Shit out. I was stuck on her for 48 hours. <laughs> you know what's crazy? I was stuck on her for 48 hours with Mimic Tear and the Summit. Yeah, that's the thing too. Like a lot of people would say, oh, it's more easy with the summonings, but like it it can't like when you get like one of those summon end game characters, it still Dumb makes it more dumb harder. As shit, bro. <laughs> that nigga yeah. dumb as shit. It's only one dude and it's his name Dane. Dane is the only <laughs> Dane the Dane. Dane. Yeah, the yeah. That, that really be holding it down. Yeah, they ain't coming clutch. Yeah, cause, everybody uh, else dumb as shit though. <laughs> yeah, cause it it uh it kind of counts it as like an online player, so it's like everybody if that's new to it, like you have like another player on when you're yeah. facing a boss, it makes the the boss's health more you know more bigger, so more harder to get down, cause it counts it as you know two people in there, so. Thank you.